Pascal Cup lives for classic sports cars, mostly British. Designs and engineering are important to Pascal. Shapes tell you instantly whether you're looking at a Jaguar XK, Coupe, or C-Type. There's something about the designs that can't be reproduced. Modern car makers can't touch them. There are some nice ideas in modern cars, he says, but a lot of great things were around back then that you don't see anymore. Like the MGC GT Sebring. Most of the fewer than 5,000 Sebrings were made in 1968. Hardly any have survived. They were popular as racing and rally cars, and plenty ended up as a pile of twisted metal. Pascal runs an event agency. He loves tooling around country roads in his Sebring. Pascal says the classic racer's sound, look, and handling are all missing in modern cars. Hearing the Weber carburetor moan as it sucks in air when you open it up gives him much more of a thrill than any modern fuel injection system ever could. The MG in the name is the car maker, while the C stands for the six-cylinder engine. GT indicates the closed roadster body style. The Sebring, which is named after a racetrack in Florida, was the racing version. It has broader fenders and a 200 horsepower engine. Pascal explains that at the time, MG Motorsports' relatively small engine department built the Sebring for the Sebring races. But as far as he knows, none of the original cars have survived to the present day. They had aluminum engine blocks, of which none are left. Of course, he says, they were fitted with Weber carburetors, and the cars had an adjustable chassis. They were more than well equipped when it came to the engine. The Sebring's top speed of some 220 kilometers per hour was impressive for 1968. Under the hood is a real whopper of an engine, a three-liter single-cast six-cylinder block. The standard version delivered 145 horsepower, the modified version some 200 horsepower. Pascal had his MG overhauled by a specialist in England six years ago, and he's been improving it here and there ever since. He says that unlike most British cars of the era, it's dependable. Pascal's car would have been perfectly equipped for rally racing. It includes a Tripmaster odometer and a passenger side reading lamp. And the bucket seats and racing seat belts provide perfect support. Pascal regularly takes part in classic car rallies, and for several years now, he's even organized his own. Like a movie location scout, he's always on the lookout for unusual routes. Rustling up the permits, setting the routes, and planning the stages are all part of the job. The right course has to fulfill a number of criteria. The landscape should be scenic, the traffic minimal, and conditions not overly tough on the automotive antiques. Pascal points out that the rallies aren't really about winning, but a certain degree of ambition doesn't hurt. It's mostly about having fun, he says, enjoying yourself and carrying on the tradition. First and foremost, it's about having fun. And Pascal Cup has fun, especially when he's out and about and one of his darlings, hunting for beautiful routes for his next rally.